people welcome to a brand new video my name is danielle if this is your very first time here and in this video we're going to be prepping for a quick trip to new orleans over the weekend so i'm about to go into walmart and grab some essentials and then we'll move into the rest of prep and then we'll actually go on the trip together so hopefully y'all are here for a travel vlog and yeah let's go ahead and grab all the stuff i need to get from walmart and then we need to get the rest of our prep done so we can actually leave for this trip So as y'all know, I'm about to be a bridesmaid in my friend's wedding and I wanted to get a couple of like accessories to wear at the wedding. So I ordered these little earrings on Amazon. They're like all bows. So I'm hoping that they're cute. Ah, not me dropping it in the sink. Okay, so here's one pair. How cute these are probably a little extra for me I, I'm not I'm not an extra person y'all I really like simple stuff dainty jewelry I don't really like like jewelry that's like doing a lot these are cute these my daughter will probably really enjoy wearing these little um, bows and then they have some larger bows just a little bit bigger and then I'm just gonna show, all of them are bows so I'm just gonna show y'all all of them yeah these these are cute these are not real. I paid like $13 for all of these. And they had these little bows. Not that y'all thought they were real, but hold on, let me open it so y'all can see this one up close. Because this one is actually like a different shape, even though it's a bow. Oh, is it broke? Oh, it just dangles. That's cute. Okay, so this one. That's cute. This might be it. That's really cute. I like how it moves. That's so cute. And then it's basically just a bunch of little different kinds and shapes of bows. So I have plenty to choose from when I'm packing. This one looks like a pretzel. And I think there are 10 pair all together. Here is pair number nine. And then pair number 10. So yeah, I think these are perfect for the occasion. I feel like I could really get away with wearing a few pairs of these earrings. Y'all saw my dress. If you want to check these out online, I will put them in my Amazon storefront in the fashion section. But yeah. Y'all ignore how I look. I'm just gonna pack up all of these earrings and take them all with me. Since they already have this little case that, that they can be stored in. And I will decide, I guess, the morning of which one I wanna wear. And we'll go from there. It's actually tomorrow morning. Can you believe that? The wedding is tomorrow morning, crazy. I'm about to work on my nails because I'm still taking off the last set that I had done. I'm about to um, soak off. I filed them down a lot and now I'm about to soak them off. Soak off what's left and I think I'm just going to do a gel manicure. Either a gel manicure or maybe go get some press-ons. Because I'm kind of scared of a gel manicure in that I think it might chip before I actually walk down the aisle <laughs> in the wedding. So yeah. Okay yeah, That was for TikTok. Alright so my second delivery is I believe this is the oh packing cubes so i went ahead and ordered some packing cubes because i just feel like these will make life a lot easier plus we're going on another vacation well a family vacation um later well mid-march so i think these will come in handy for that as well i might need to order a second set but this is like a 10 pack set of packing cubes it comes with like i think two large or one extra large two large two medium um comes with a cosmetic case and then some other stuff so it's quite a bit of um pieces in here and i'll show y'all this when i actually pack but i feel like y'all know what packing cubes look like so i don't need to like pull it all out right this second but it will be in an upcoming video and then 
The last thing I got is a toiletry organizer. This is what it looks like. And this will come in handy for me to like hang up. I made sure I got one with um, a hanger on it because one, this will come in handy while I'm in the world. In, on my current trip and it also come in handy when we go on a cruise because I can it's such a space saver for me to put this up inside the um, cabin and have all of our lotions and you know everything that we need because it's gonna be so many of us it's the whole family so yeah that is everything I got from Amazon I'm about to go work on my nails here is a quick haul of everything I got from Walmart grab some body wash also got a small mouthwash just to take with me. The mini travel one was $2 and this was three. So I was like, mm, I'm gonna get my money's worth. Let me get a $3 one. Got some new deodorant, was running out anyway. Also got some lotion, which I'm just gonna leave sealed until I get there. Got a travel toothpaste. I literally just bought new toothpaste at Costco. So. Yeah, and then this is unrelated, but I bought this for my husband to try. Yes, I'm going to buy the store brand. Yep, sure am. I'm going to save the coin. I'm going to save some money. If the product is just as good, um, why pay full price? I don't know. Why pay for the for the name brand one? If it worked the same. That don't make no sense to me. Anyway, that's everything I got from Walmart. So as far as nail prep, I already removed most or all the polish. I already pretty much um, filed down all of the stuff that was on my nails already and now I'm about to just kind of take off the parts that are already lifting so I'm just going to use my nipper to go under and get these parts off Just as much as possible. I'm not going to like go out of my way to get every single bit of it because I don't want to cause it to lift more than it is already because it'll damage my nail underneath. But yeah, if I can easily get it under there and I can get it off, then I'll do that. If not, I'll just leave it for the next phase. And then put that in here I got these little clips off Amazon and then I just clip it on my nail so that it will hold the acetone to my nail probably would have been easier just to do all of these first and then start putting them on my fingers All right, y'all, now we just have to wait for them to do what they do. All right, it's been about 15, 20 minutes. I'm about to try and take these off now, see if they're ready to come out or come off. So once you get it to that point, all you gotta do is grab one of these little devices or, shoot. jiggers this little thing and then you want to scrape off the gel with it I try not to scrape too hard on my actual nail because I don't want to damage my nail plate I just want to take off the gel and this little thing does such a good job of getting the gel off I don't know why I don't know how but it really works well I went to go grab some food because I wasn't sure when the power was going to come back on. But it came back on while I was gone. But anyway, I'm about to eat. Because <laughs> I went and got like some lunch specials from the carryout. And I got two General Tso's. One chicken and broccoli and one shrimp lo mein. I'm about to eat this and then get on with my prepping. Like, I still got to finish my nails. But without power, I couldn't paint my nails. Because obviously it's gel polish. Costa Cure. You need a lamp. To use a lamp, you need electricity. You get it. 
also couldn't do my hair. I really couldn't do nothing. I needed to wait. So now that the power's back on, we can finish. But let me eat lunch and then we'll get back right back into it. We've got to do it this way. It's the only way my wife is gonna learn her damn lesson. I understand, but if we ambush Carolyn, it could set her off like a, a cornered rat. That sounds fantastic. Uh, would you excuse me, please? I told you to only call me if it's an emergency. I'm about to make your hard work pay off. Yeah, would you better make it quick? Unless your husband just pulled up with Jeffrey Bowen. What did you just say? You heard exactly what I said, Carolyn. Moses and Jeffrey are about to walk into the building. And from what I estimate, you got about 10 minutes to wrap this shit up. So let's get it signed. Okay, so if there are no further questions. Uncle Moses! Jay. Sorry, I'm late. I've been away for so long that I forgot how bad the traffic was from Manhattan. I didn't miss anything important, did I? Not at all, Moses. We're just wrapping up our business for the day. Well, what business would that be, Carol? Well, the board just approved my permanent appointment as administrator for the Britain Trust. So, you're too late, Moses. Too late for what, Carol? To stop my appointment. That's what. Now, why would I stop the appointment? You've been amazing in my absence. You, you're going to get everything that you deserve. Congratulations on your appointment, sweetheart. All right, y'all. I'm just about done with my nails. Um, it takes me so long to do my nails, and it just is so annoying because that's why I hate doing my nails. That's why I procrastinate because it takes forever. Just to remove this stuff and then get my cuticles cleaned up is taking me like an hour. I do a French tip. Can I have color nails? No. Can I have color nails? I want a basket. Not on me. You put some glory. Not okay. Yeah, I always want my nails done. I think I have. I'll do your nails. When mom finishes doing that to her nails, I'll file down your nails. Who is she? The daughter of? She's the daughter of the lady in the bed. Okay? She's the daughter of the lady in red. The lady in red? Yeah, right there. Oh, okay. Yup, yup, yup. Why did you just lie to Henry? Oh, yeah. Because yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I yeah. want. If he knew what really happened. Hi. Hi guys, it's another video here. Here with Corey. We have I got I just um sorry, I just got my new biting necklaces because I've had um chewing on these little beads in my hair. And then they come in all different things. There's this little donut one. It's my favorite. Hey, I love it. And then, what is this? Guys, name what this is in the comment section because I actually don't know what this is. Like, name what this is in the comment section. This might actually be a hoop or something. I don't know. Then this, then this is a little feather. Feather? Yeah, feather. These are all like necklaces, see? The little thing that you attach them on. And they were attached when I first got them. This is a feather. Then again, put what these are in the comment section. I'm guessing this is like a pepper spray thing. Like, pss, pss. then this is like a gem. I don't know for, for sure, but these are two cute necklaces. And there's so many outfits that can go with this. But I got this little Oreo one. I'm really proud of this one. I got this little oil one. And it actually has a filling. See you in the next video, y'all. Bye.
exactly the reason why you need to take this risk. It's time that we change the game and have that role. Like she is family, and when you love... Is that food still down there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> 
by pulling on the red tab. Put the vest over your head and fasten the strap around your waist.
All right, y'all, I am in the process of editing this video and <laughs> it ain't even funny because the way that I, every time I try to pull footage in for this video, I realize I cannot find it. It made me not want to even deal with it, but these chin hairs, my face is breaking out so bad. I have, my chin hairs are chin hairing. <laughs> I'm trying to pull them out, y'all. I need to get waxed because, uh-uh. -uh. But anyways, I wanted to tell y'all what happened in New Orleans since I lost the footage and y'all didn't get to see everything. I wanted to like give y'all a play-by-play -play of what actually happened. I just got my phone to have some extra light. It was a whole mess, y'all. That was a that was a trip from hell. But anyways, okay, so my flight before I even left, my flight got pushed back by eight hours. So initially, I was supposed to leave at one in the afternoon on friday and i was supposed to get there at like four in the afternoon and i told y'all that they had she had like there was an agenda so everything was already kind of like worked out about what we were supposed to do each day where we, where we were supposed to go and all that so there was supposed to be a rehearsal a wedding rehearsal on friday and then a rehearsal dinner on friday evening and i think the wedding rehearsal started at like 4 30 so i was gonna be late for that anyway but i would have made it i just would have been late so I completely missed that, completely missed the rehearsal or the um, dinner. And then my flight originally was at one. It ended up being at nine something. And then I didn't get there. Well, I got there. I left Richmond at nine something. I didn't get there until 11 something. And then it was like a 20 something minute drive from the airport to the Airbnb, which was not like it wasn't like in a French Quarter or on Bourbon Street or anything like that. It was it was in some random neighborhood. It was it was in a random neighborhood. Um, so I get to the Airbnb, finally get in because they gave me a, a key. I'm sorry, they gave me a code because the door, it wasn't like a key lock. It was like a you put the code in kind of lock, and it was not working. And y'all, it's midnight, <laughs> so everybody else is probably asleep. I'm like I'm gonna be stuck out here. The, air, the air, Uber that pulled off and I'm sitting there like trying to get in the door and it wasn't working because it, it, the little keypad would not light up. I, I don't know why. But anyway, so I knocked and then the other girl that was staying there, the only people that were staying at the Airbnb was me, my friend, my friend's sister, my friend's mom, and her friend, like her childhood friend. So her childhood friend opens the door, lets me in, and then y'all saw me getting to bed I went to sleep because it was late and then the next day we me and her caught an uber me and the childhood best friend we caught an uber to like bourbon street french quarter area because that's where the hotel was that we they rented a suite and we were getting ready in the hotel and that's where y'all saw me like get my makeup done and all that I made a whole video of me doing my hair I have no idea what happened to that video I know as soon as I post this because I don't think that I, I I really don't think I deleted it like I wouldn't have deleted it so I feel like but then I also checked all my memory cards and it wasn't on any of them so I don't really know what happened to that footage but I lost all of that um but y'all did get to see some of like me getting my makeup done well y'all saw like the phases of it I didn't show the girl doing it and then um y'all saw which dress I chose which was the yellow like satin one and then y'all saw like the pictures and stuff I had a lot more footage of the like the process of us because the whole bridal party took pictures but i really only got, got to show y'all the bride getting her pictures because i was in the rest of it so i had just set my camera up and let it run but again i don't know what happened to the footage so then um yeah so we got ready and then we went downstairs in the lobby to take pictures and y'all saw some of that and then we walked from the hotel to what is that from the hotel to the dock where the boat was which was probably like a 10 minute walk but it took a lot longer because we were she was taking pictures all along the route and so were we so it was like some pictures were the bridal party some pictures were the bride and the bridal party but a lot of them were just the bride so once we got to the boat um we did what did we do we they had like a little they had food set up they had food set up at the um where we got ready to we had like kind of like a continental breakfast. It was like danishes, drink, like danishes, juices, coffee, 
Um, they had champagne, all that kind of stuff. And then once we got to the boat, there was a room and there was food. It was like, um, I think it was like lamb chops. It was these little rice balls. It was like rice balls with like sausage and stuff in it, but they were deep fried. And then it was shrimp cocktail and or grilled shrimp and what else? Uh, maybe steak. It was like four or five different things, like appetizers. It was like hors d'oeuvres. That's what it was. Okay, so we did have some food there, and then um, I missed rehearsal, <laughs> so I didn't know what I was doing when it came to actually walking in the wedding. So I got through it, <laughs> um, and then oh, we took pictures on the boat. I forgot about that before. After we had like the hors d'oeuvres, then we took pictures on the boat, then we had the actual ceremony, then we went back into the room where the food, the hors d'oeuvres were, and then that's where I saw it, like, that's where my friend and her husband were like practicing their little handshake and stuff, y'all. He completely forgot to do the handshake by the time they got into the reception. It was so funny. Um, so yeah, the reception was probably mm, a couple hours long. I was so tired, so exhausted. All I wanted to do was go to sleep. Then the second line. Then we went to that cafe beignet place. And now we didn't finish that night until probably like 12 or 1 again. So I'm exhausted. I went straight back to that room and went right to sleep. And then the next day I went to breakfast. And I can't remember, remember the name of the place I went to breakfast at. And then I went to... So I caught an Uber from the Airbnb to breakfast. Then I caught another Uber from the breakfast place to the mall. And both of those went, were fine. They went smoothly. Then I caught a third Uber from the mall to the Airbnb. And this is where it went bad. So I'm in the Uber going to the Airbnb. This man is like, every time I got in the Uber, I pulled the directions up to where I was going on my phone because this is not where I live. I have no idea where, we, where I am and I want to be sure that I'm going in the right direction. So I pulled the directions up on my phone. <laughs> yeah, this man... The directions are on my phone the directions are on his phone and he is not following the directions he's going so okay so initially it said make a right he made a left i'm like okay that's weird and then because you know like when you're using directions it tries to course correct you like it'll continue to say okay now go this way now go this way and then the amount of time it's going to take you to reach your destination just keeps changing as you're missing turns and that was what was happening so he missed like four turns it just like it was trying to course correct it was like go right he passed it go right he passed it go right he passed it and then on the fourth one he actually made the right and by then i'm just like mm -mm, i don't know what you're doing so he got to a red light i jumped out of the car because i'm like i don't know what you're doing or where you're going but i do not want to be here to figure out how this story ends <laughs> so i got out of the car y'all i'm standing on the corner of this in this strange neighborhood and waiting i had to call another uber um and then i called uber itself to tell them about that incident because i'm like that is scary like so it takes like 10 minutes for the next uber to come he comes he and all my uber drivers were men and I, i'm annoyed by that but since then i realized that if you go with lyft you can there's a women program so you can request female drivers if you go book through Lyft instead of Uber. So if I for some if for some reason I need to book a, a ride, I will be using Lyft and I'll use the women the woman feature so I can make sure to get a woman driver. Um cuz men are just creepy and they don't understand how what they do. Cuz he I mean he could have been a kind a nice guy, but he could have also been a human trafficker. I have no idea. So it's like just follow the directions, dude. Like, why are you, why are you doing that? All of that. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, I get my next Uber from the neighborhood I'm standing in the middle of. Just randomly standing there waiting for another ride to pull up. He comes. He takes me to the Airbnb without incident and it's fine. He followed the directions. And then, by then I'm like, I'm not leaving this Airbnb no more. I'm so over it. Like, this is a horrible experience and I'm ready to go home. Um, but the mall was nice. I will say the mall was nice. So if you do go to New Orleans, I would recommend the river walk. That was really nice. And then, um, what else? So yeah, then my sister, my friend and her sister had to take 
their mom to I want to say they had to take her to dialysis or something so um they were not around and then her friend who was also staying at the Airbnb she had a friend another friend who was in town so she went to meet up with that friend so it was just me like I was by myself um so when I got back I took a nap I was so tired and I was so over it and then when I woke up my friend was back and her sister and then she was like well we are just planning I told her what happened she was like that's crazy and then um she was like well tonight we're just planning on inviting people over and we're gonna have like a little get together so I'm like okay cool so they they were trying to like get snacks and stuff for that so we went me her sister and her sister's friend went to Walmart to get some stuff for the party. Yeah, this was the worst. <laughs> the worst Walmart I've ever been to in my life. Everything, New Orleans is a different place. Like New Orleans is not real, I'm convinced. Um, Y'all, the people in this Walmart, like they had, they had self-checkout. You know how every Walmart pretty much has self-checkout. They had self-checkout, but they closed it off. So they were like, it was probably like 10 self-checkout machines, but they had like closed it off so people couldn't use it. And then they had one, but they made it like, it was like a line, like a normal checkout lane, but then it was a self-checkout at the end. And they would say it had, it was five items or less. So they are yelling at people, five items or less, five items or less. I'm like, what is happening? And then they had another one right beside it. Same thing. It looks like a regular checkout lane but when you get to the end you do self checkout and it's 10 items and then they had normal checkout lanes so we got in the 10 item checkout lane there is yelling at people once again and it was just like so aggressive and just so unnecessary it just made the whole environment like hostile um but anyway so we split up the stuff like i'm like i'll just pay for some of it because i do not want to have this go into a different line so like her sister was paying for the stuff for the um for the party but me and her friend were like we'll just take some of it so that we can make sure that all of us are under 10 items so um we did we got out and then we went back everybody started coming over and I was tired so I went to sleep I ate a little bit and then I just went and got in the bed and I have no idea what time people left but I was in the bed at like eight o'clock then the next morning it was Sunday so my flight was at a five something, but checkout was at 11 and my friend was staying in, she was staying in um, Louisiana because her mom lives in Louisiana and they had to take her mom home or, I can't, okay, maybe they were taking her mom home on, on Saturday. Maybe that's what they were doing on Saturday because she had dialysis. So maybe they were dropping her off at home because she had, something was happening. They were taking her somewhere and she didn't come back. So I guess they took her to dialysis and then took her home and then, um, they came back and then we did a little party on Saturday night and then on Sunday I woke up I got myself together I got my bag packed and I was about to go to the uh airport and I broke my computer charger like the actual cable it was like I tried to like lift it up and it was plugged in and it like broke the plastic part right here so it snapped and I was nothing I could do to fix it and then when I got to the airport I was like I'm sure they have a little store at the airport I'm sure I'll be able to buy another one no they were completely sold out of the cord I needed and then I flew Breeze Airways and that was I didn't know that that airport desks like didn't open like I thought it would just be open all day no they were like we don't open until the, they don't open until the first until two hours before their first flight which was at like three, but they didn't open until almost two. So the people who went on that three o'clock flight, I'm sure they were running to their um, gate to get to, so they didn't get left. <laughs> but, um, okay, so I got through TSA at 410. I got my, I'm sorry, I got through TSA at 350, 340 something. I went straight to Leah's and then I did not get my food ordered until four. 11 for 10 so it's like 20 minutes 20 maybe a little over 20 minutes to get even get an order in and yeah I hadn't eaten all day and it's now four o'clock um so I got my food it took like I'm not even playing it took like 30 minutes for me to get my food 
Um, and then finally walked to my gate, which was really close. Um, and then I went to Cafe Du Monde and got some beignets because I was like, I need to do, I need to do that before I go. I need to at least try the beignets in New Orleans because I was too full to eat it at the beignet cap at Cafe Beignet because I was we had just eaten at the wedding reception. Um, so yeah, I got some beignets and then I went to Starbucks because that was the only place to get coffee, like iced coffee. I went to, I tried to go to Pete's Coffee earlier, but they didn't have any iced coffee. They only had cold brew and they didn't have any cold foam and they didn't have any kind of flavoring. So it was like straight up cold, cold brew. You could add cream and you could add like sugar and you could add half and half, but you couldn't add flavors. So it was going to be nasty. So I was like, I'm not doing that. So I didn't have coffee the whole time I was in New Orleans. There was not a, with the exception of the Starbucks at the airport, which also wasn't good. Because they did not have, um, like, Wawa. They don't have Wawa. They don't have Sheets. They don't have, like, Starbucks everywhere. They don't have Dunkin's everywhere. Everything was so far away from where we were staying. It was, it was a disaster. For me, it was a disaster. Because I, it was just so different than, like, my normal way of life. And I was, like, missing everything about <laughs> where I live. And then I got on the plane and came home. And that was it. So that's all I did for the last three days. That's everything that happened. And I just felt like, like when on Saturday, it wasn't really anything to record other than me going to the, to get the food and going to, out to eat. On Sunday, there wasn't anything to record because I was at the airport all day. On Friday, the wedding was happening and there was just too many things going on to record. And on Thursday, I was home most of the day and I drove to the airport and got on a plane. So... I don't know how good of a travel vlog this was, <laughs> but hopefully y'all got to see a little bit or enough to see how like it kind of went, but I will probably never go back to New Orleans. It was not my vibe. If you don't like to party and you don't, don't like to drink, it's probably not for you. And you don't like like ghost tours and murder and stuff. <laughs> like if you don't like dark stuff. It's not the place for you because it's nothing to do outside of that. Like, that's everything that there is to do. Drinking, partying, and going to, like, cemetery tours, which I'm not doing. So, that is the full recap of New Orleans. If you've been, let me know what you think. Like, how was your experience? Because mine was subpar. Except the wedding, which is what I went for. So that was good. That was great, actually. But like the stuff outside of the wedding, I'll pass. <laughs> Give me an island or something because no, I don't want to do nothing. That, none of that stuff in New Orleans. It was like even doing that second line, walking down the street, it was crazy. Just a lot of craziness. A lot of craziness. But anyway, I'm going to go get my coffee and get back to work because I got to project that I'm working on. This kind of devotion is, I've never seen anything like it. Don't look bad. You don't like them? Nah, they, I need like 11 and a half. Harkonnen operation was perpetrated overnight, without warning. 